The Razer Siren lineup has been a popular choice by gamers wanting to upgrade their audio game, and now with multiple options available to you in that lineup of microphones, it can be harder to choose. So today, we're gonna compare and put head-to-head -head the Razer Siren Mini, Siren V2X, and Siren Pro, so you guys can decide which one's gonna be best for you. One of the biggest things to, of course, consider with these microphones is gonna be the price bump of almost $50 between all of the mics, with the Siren Mini coming at the cheapest at 50, the V2X at 100, then finally the V2 Pro sitting at 140. Five. So if you're only wanting to get a budget mic, well, that might help decide for you right out of the gate. Definitely though, get some great features for those price bumps that I think is definitely worth considering. Visually, all three microphones from a distance look extremely similar with the same blacked out build and shape. The primary difference you'll notice is you're gonna be your controls with the Siren Mini having the least amount of control with nothing besides just a light indicator for whether you are muted or not. That bump up though to the V2X for $50 more gets you a ton more options with an actual mic mute or unmute button, a mic gain knob, and finally on the back, the option to have some headphones for monitoring plugged into the back. The V2 Pro has all those same controls as well with the addition of one more knob on the top of the front, which allows you to have that on the fly volume adjustment for your actual monitoring that you have plugged in on the back of the microphone. One other thing to consider is that the mini still has a micro USB port instead of the USB-C that we now have on the newer V2X and Pro. The base of the mini and V2X are identical with the stem and base being plastic and the mic sitting on top of a ball joint, allowing a limited amount of movement there. The V2 Pro, on the other hand, gives you a pretty big upgrade in the way of quality, having an all metal stand and base, along with more of a yoke mounted stand, which allows for only a tilt forward and back. That's enough about the microphones though. Let's go ahead and hop into the sound test. We're now over in the office and I'm currently talking into the Siren Mini. I'm gonna be switching throughout these microphones through the video. I'll also have some text pop up on the screen so you guys know which mic I am currently using at the time. But I also wanna state before we hop into this, I'm not altering my audio at all in pre-production here or in the post-production the editing. So what you hear is gonna be what you get with all these microphones when you pull them right out of the box. Recording it straight into OBS on my computer so you guys will have a good blank slate of what each microphone sounds like stacked up against each other. The pickup pattern is the same on the Siren Mini as it is on the V2X, which is using what's called a super cardioid pickup pattern with the Mini having a 14 millimeter Millimeter condenser capsule and the V2X having a 25 millimeter capsule. With the super cardioid pickup pattern, where you want to be talking into it, it's going to be on the front of the microphone right here with the V2X and the Mini. You can see this clearly demonstrated as I tilt it around. If I'm speaking into the sides or into the back of it, it's going to be a lot quieter. That's also going to help with reducing things like background noise, especially if you have it on your desk. It's going to help reduce your keyboard chatter. And the same thing with the Mini, again, as I tilt it around to the side. It'll get quieter to the back. It'll be quieter as well. All this to help reduce sounds around you while giving you one nice isolated spot to pick up your voice. One thing you'll notice also right off the bat is the Siren Mini. I'm not changing volumes again on the software at all. It's just a lot quieter, not only because of the form factor of the microphone just sitting a little bit lower down, but the V2X just has overall more power and more gain to it when speaking into it at the same volume levels. The Siren V2 Pro is different from the others in the fact that it's actually a dynamic microphone, which just uses a different method for actually picking up your voice. And it has a a 30 millimeter capsule. And unlike the other microphones where you actually wanna speak into it, it's gonna be on that top of the microphone entirely versus the front, like in the Siren V2X in Mini, which you can see this again demonstrated. If I spin it around to the sides or the back, it's gonna get a lot more quiet and muffled. Where you wanna be talking to it, it's gonna be right here. It's gonna isolate your voice more and help eliminate some things like those background noises again. I definitely think overall the V2 Pro has the most crisp and clean sound quality, but it also comes at the cost of $145. So take that into consideration as well, but you do see a pretty big and sizable jump even just between the Siren Mini and the V2X. I feel like the V2X just adds a lot more fullness to your voice and bass. If you are going to be using these microphones on your desk or in a boom arm, they do actually all come with built-in shock mounts, which I think overall do a pretty great job. And I can demonstrate this more clearly just by typing in the background here. This will also demonstrate of how good of a job they do with eliminating some of that key chatter. And again, I think Razer has a pretty good system in place to eliminate most of these sounds. You can definitely still tell it's there, but as far as those vibrations go, I think it does a really great job of getting rid of those. Here is the Siren Mini with the same exact test going on the background with the keyboard chatter. Obviously this microphone's a little bit lower down, so it might be a little more prone to picking up some of those vibrations and key chatter overall. But again, I think it does a pretty great job at reducing them. And yet again, with the V2X, got that same built-in shock mount. And I think overall, all these mics, you guys can listen to it for yourselves though and compare them, do a pretty good job at eliminating the key chatter and those vibrations that you would otherwise be hearing from the bottom out on those keys. And for Alana's final test, 
podcast here. I'm going to put all the microphones up to a boom arm. This is, again, how I recommend using all these microphones, especially with all of them just being more low profile, keeping them closer to your keyboard and on your desk. It's just going to be overall a worse idea, especially if you just want to get the best sound quality, especially with the microphone like the Siren Mini. It does sound pretty good already, but if you can get it up off your desk, closer to your mouth, isolate that voice more, it's just going to sound a lot better and give you a lot more crisp and clear sounding audio. Now I have the V2X up on the boom arm, and again, they're all going to just sound a little bit more crisp, a little bit more clear as they're up off the desk, closer to your body, closer to your face. It's gonna help isolate that voice a lot more. Now we have the V2 Pro up in the boom arm. And again, I do think the V2 Pro sounds the best overall. It has a little bit more of a warm and full sound to it in comparison to some of the other microphones. But of course, all these audio tests are here for you guys to decide for yourselves also which one you're gonna like best and which one you think's gonna work best in your setup. Overall, I think all three mics are great in their own regard. And depending on your budget and what you want from your microphone, one or the other might be better for you. As a Razer Siren Mini, is completely passable, of course, and can work just fine, but you are very limited in the fact that you just can't make many adjustments or have much control over the mic without actually getting into some software or other third-party application. Then on the other side of the coin, you have the Siren V2 Pro, though, yes, definitely the most expensive out of the bunch at 145. Gives you a ton of control right on the microphone itself and some really nice crisp audio quality. The V2X, though, I do think strikes a nice balance as far as between pricing and features and sound quality there, and would be the one I'd recommend most out of the entire lineup, especially with it being commonly on sale on Amazon for around $80, so that makes it only around $30 more expensive than the Siren Mini, and I'll link that down below. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button for me, and do consider subscribing, and check out some of these other microphone reviews on the screen now.